Oh, damn. I've been out a bit. Shoot. You know, I was like hoping forward to getting this. Damn. I just want those heads right here. You know, especially one with a smart smile, whose face there, and the angry ones. Because I've already got like these two, plus this one without the hat. I mean, it would be nice, but. Well, what a shame. But I guess I could always find another solution. Well, look at that. I guess I did find some other solutions. So these are the three unpainted heads of the Deluxe Edition Joker from Moxhall. Neko. And these are the three I got. Hey, okay, at least this is pretty a good time to actually decide to do the customizations. But there's also the one I just actually got, although I can actually use it. But I could always still use this one. There will be something I could use out of this one. Yep. It's not too bad. It's actually quite a... I was going for this one, but I guess there's a blank one so I can actually do it myself, so that would be interesting. So, yep. It's 10 bucks. If you get like all three of them, it's like one ninety nine shipping. So um, this is from all the way from Canada. Not bad though. I hope it fits in after I finish painting. You know this one is actually what I really like it because sometimes there's always different kind of joker that smiles when they show their grinning teeth and everything. I just like this one because it's more simple expressions, you know, just a smile. Just that smile. Look at that smirky smile there. Like, uh -huh. oh, this is so perfect. And what could it be not so wrong to have one that is all beaten up looking version of the joker? Get all beat up and still smile. <sighs> a blues dubbed edition looking. Now I see someone did a good paint job out of this one. Like, look at this. You could just make it all bloody and blues looking out of this one. Oh. That's actually cool though. But this one though. Oh. This one. Damn, I'm definitely gonna get this one. Cause hey, um, it's a bit different, but it's kind of scenery looking to it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not too bad for that. Like especially like uh I'm gonna cut you up <laughs> and I like you smile. Good. Good good heads. Right there. Mm. Just the head and the neck alone. So yeah. Now there's a whole thing about painting it. So this is the searching of looking for um because I've done it before on the figurines myself while back on the twelve inch scale ones. Um the Asher figurine, like the tall ones. Twelve inches tall ones. These are the paint I use. And a Bondi I think I'd be go for could be this one. Because I don't think they're not that I don't know why they're not that expensive anymore. They're pretty like affordable. Especially this one. Because since it is a like original ones, it's easier to use it because uh, the bootleg version is doesn't help so much because I have these these hands that I got are from it doesn't connect it so well so I want to pick up a different body it's probably the same one like this one here and try to switch over to a clothing and so on as well I'm just gonna probably use the body that it came with as a something to use the paint on top of it as a stand and this one's gonna be the actual body which is is gonna leave me with the extra heads as included but who knows? I mean, I'm not gonna probably upload and probably have to use it. 
it's not that hard. It's not that really easy if they have it just by alone, but yeah. But the paints, I'm going to have to figure it out. And um, you know the great place to give you much is what you need to know and how to get help. This is the best place of Asha Figurine Custom Kick Brush from in Facebook. It's a community I joined. And these are the people who actually help me out of painting it or give me some information. Like here, this is one of them I'm going to actually wanted to try, which is these three you see how original from one ends and then there's a custom on the next one. Like you can see the difference. So when he's telling me, if I look at the comments and ask questions, he said that it doesn't really matter as long as there's an articulating paint, a folk, folk art, or apple bearer, golden angled, mad lady, master, or balloon paint. This is one done by apple blur or paint. I'm giving that's a line. He's giving me a, a showing me of the paints and everything. Which is great. Someone actually giving me information about it. So, credibly, I'm going to take this as an option from it. And, um, if you guys are looking forward to figuring out how to do this, I'll show you, like, a full-on places. Like, this is where you could find and get help of who does these concentration figurines and even the smaller scales and so on. This is um, something you guys want to try to do. I mean, definitely they're helping me with this. So thank you from who's everyone from in this community for the informations.